Are, do you regret attaching your name to the former president? Do I what? Do you regret attaching your name to the former president? <laughs> I am very, very honored uh, to be involved in this case because this case is a fight for our way of life. This, this, in, this indictment is a travesty. It's an attack on not just me, not just President Trump, not just the people in this indictment, some of whom I don't even know. This is an attack on the American people. Harry, let me start with you. Are you surprised that both Mark Meadows and Jeffrey Clark's attempts to avoid arrest failed? No, I'm not surprised that they failed. The DA uh, indicted everybody that she thought she could, should bring charges against, that she thinks uh, she can prove, she can make her case against. And so there's no real reason, there's no substantive reason that makes them different than any other of the defendants in this particular case or any other defendants in the other cases that she brings. So I'm not surprised, but it does um, demonstrate that all of the individuals, particularly the so many lawyers who were indicted this case, are going to explore every potential avenue they have to try to slow down um, or, in one case, speed up when one of the defendants has requested that it speed up, um, but work in their interest and defend themselves as best they can. It's interesting, though, that uh, both of these defendants now have just a short little bit of time to, to, to negotiate a bond and to avoid jail and to show up uh, at that jail and surrender. Yeah, tomorrow is her deadline, and they're going to have to meet it, or they will have agents uh, and investigators and law enforcement seeking them out, which I would imagine is a situation that yeah. they don't want to face. The deadline is Friday at noon, so they don't have a lot of time at all. Shan, uh, what about this uh, Trump? He has yet to attempt to move his case from state to federal, to a federal court. What do you make of that? Well, he may have been letting uh, Meadows and Clark test the waters a little bit, on that. And to Carrie's point, I think this illustrates we're going to see every possible legal maneuver that they can come up with. Both of those motions were very baseless. The question eventually of can they get a removal to federal court, the judge is still considering. But this idea that they can somehow enjoin the arrest, meaning stop the arrest right now, uh, was completely without merit. And the judge appropriately just slapped it down. Yeah. And we'll see what happens if Trump tries that as well. Jamie, it was quite a spectacle today, uh, as far as Rudy Giuliani is concerned, a man you and I have covered for a long time. A remarkable fall for someone who was once branded America's mayor after 9-11. What's your reaction to what we actually saw unfold today? It was surreal. It really was. Look, he's former U.S. attorney, former mayor. Uh, but this is what happens when you try to overthrow an election. And this is a case where we saw what happened in real time. Uh, we know that they lost all of those cases in court. We know that former Attorney General Bill Barr said there was no widespread election fraud. I, I think it's important, despite uh, Giuliani's defiance today, to keep the following thing in mind. He is facing felony charges. Going to the Fulton County Jail today, which is quite notorious, uh, as, as the kids say, it got real today for Rudy Giuliani. And if you read this, it's a consent bond order for defendant Rudolph William Lewis Giuliani. 13 criminal charges outlined, $150,000 bond to stay out of jail. You know, Paula, let me get your thoughts right now. Donald Trump is expected to surrender tomorrow at that jail uh, outside of Atlanta as well. Uh, tell us how that is expected to unfold. Well, Wolf, the district attorney is adamant that everyone will be treated the same here in Fulton County. But former President Trump is just inherently different. He has a Secret Service detail. And tomorrow, our colleague uh, Ryan Young has learned that he will have a full security escort when he's in town. So he is going to surrender tomorrow evening after the rush hour. Anyone who's ever tried to drive in Atlanta rush hour traffic knows why having a motorcade with a security escort would be a, a disaster. So this is going to be pushed towards the later part of the day tomorrow, and then he will surrender at the Fulton County Jail. His lawyers have already taken care of his bond earlier this week, and he is expected at this point to be processed like anyone else, which includes fingerprints uh, and a mugshot. Now, they did not do a mugshot of the former president for either one of his federal cases or the Manhattan case. But here at this point, we do expect that. I mean, we've seen mugshots of Sidney Powell, of uh, Jeffrey Clark, of uh, John Eastman and Jenna Ellis. She even smiled in hers. Uh, the idea of seeing a mugshot 
of the former president of the United States is, is truly uh, extraordinary. So we expect this will be a quick trip here to Atlanta tomorrow. He's expected to come, do his surrender, and then turn around very quickly. Yeah, we'll watch it all unfold. Uh, you know, Kerry, uh, Giuliani claimed that Georgia prosecutors are criminalizing what he called the practice of law. What do you make of that argument? I think that is the beginning of an argument that we are going to hear a lot. And we're going to hear it from Giuliani. We're going to hear it from Chesbro. We're going to hear it uh, from all of the other lawyers. Jeffrey Clark, who was a really senior ranking official within the Justice Department. I mean, Assistant Attorney General for the Civil Division is a really important and high ranking uh, position in the department. So we are gonna hear that argument that what these, this case does is it criminalizes the practice of law, that these individuals have all been charged because in the context of them providing legal advice, lawyers provide legal advice to clients, that legal advice we want as lawyers to be accurate, but. If that legal advice is wrong, that is generally not criminalized. Misbehavior, negligence, uh, malpractice, those are the types of things that are usually handled through disbarment, which some of these lawyers are also facing. But I think he and all of the other lawyers are really going to lay strongly on that argument. What do you make, uh, Jamie, of Giuliani uh, outside the jail today being very, very supportive of Trump? Right. Rudy Giuliani needs money, and last night Donald Trump said he was going to have a fundraiser for him. But why did Donald Trump do that? Keep your friends close, keep your co-defendants even closer. Donald Trump has to be concerned that someone is going to flip, 